Welcome to Blood Bath and Beyond. Today we watch Bigfoot, the asylum you have big shoes to fill. Two former bandmates are at odds when they plan a festival to relive their old glory days, and then an uninvited guest shows up. It's Bigfoot. <laughs> it's Bigfoot. Spoiler! <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> what do we like about this movie? I liked that Alice Cooper was in this movie. Mm. He played himself, but with hilarity. I liked hating this movie because it's enjoyable. Like I, I enjoyed laughing along with all the stuff that was bad about the movie. So is that liking the movie or? Sometimes it is. Sometimes yeah. it isn't. It was funny at first, uh, but then it stretched out for fucking another hour. I like that. Bubbles from the Wire was in it. Um, what about, uh, I like some of the awkward shots where he was the ATV driver and Danny Bonaduce was on the back. I, I feel as though they did a smart thing with the casting, choosing two mm. former childhood stars of like the 70s. And I did enjoy the Harry and the Henderson references. What are our favorite kills in this movie? My favorite kill goes out to the camera crew rafting team. Their <laughs> death was fantastic. Bigfoot was in the water, they were trying to get away, and they just couldn't. And when he finally killed everybody, he just kept stomping on them on the ground. Like, it was like a hard, powerful stomp. My favorite kill was actually not even caused by Bigfoot. It was when Al, like, accidentally shot Priya. Damn it! And then he runs out of the cave, and the National Guard just starts shooting at him. It's like... We're not going to care who comes out of this cave. We're just going to shoot the first thing we see. <laughs> it's yeah. like, he's clearly not 20 feet tall. If I have a favorite kill, I guess it would be Susan getting stomped in a footprint. It wasn't great because all these kills fucking sucked. What didn't we like about this movie? I didn't like how boring it was. <laughs> I thought this movie was fucking really, really boring. At first, I thought it was funny because it's got that, that nice asylum, so bad, it's good feel. And then... That wore out in about 20 minutes. It's like they reused the same establishing shots. They use, reused the same Bigfoot animations to crush different characters. Every character that Bigfoot picked up to kill was actually the same 3D element. I don't know why they went full CG on it anyway. It's a humanoid. Like, throw a guy in a suit and do some clever camera angles. Yeah. Like, Story-wise, what I didn't like would be... The hippies. They had no reason whatsoever to be there. They're listening to, like, Simon. They're like, yeah, 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 peace and love. And then Alice Cooper comes on, and like, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> oh, they annoyed me. And I love how they're like, oh, we're protesting. We're not going to let you cut down this forest. And then they cut down the forest anyway. And like, okay, I'll go to the concert. Like, have... Yeah, they still <laughs> went to the concert. <laughs> like, yeah, it was... Have some integrity. The biggest issue that I had with this movie was the editing, which directly affected the pace of this movie. Every single shot was left on for about four to six frames too long, in which case there was no J or L cuts. If you know what that means, it means starting audio before you make a visual cut. If you don't do that, it means that I will finish my line and you'll be looking at my face, and then it'll cut to Dave when he starts talking. Those who died will not have died in vain. Some people are calling you the Jane Goodall of Bigfoot. I'm just one man trying to do my part. So it makes everything really, really fucking slow. And the entire movie did that with every single scene. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. When I looked at this cover, I saw Alice Cooper and I saw Bigfoot. And I thought, awesome. But The Asylum, you got me. This was not a good movie at all. There was points that were a little entertaining and the first five minutes were kind of cool. And then there was nothing, nothing at all. So I'm giving this 0.5 Bigfoot Deathmobiles out of five. I didn't like this movie one bit. I was entertained for about four and a half minutes and then I was bored for a long time. I didn't really like the story. I didn't think that any of the CG was remotely close to good. I just thought this was a, a terrible movie. I tried to make this a film cynic and they didn't <laughs> let me. I will give this point one guitar swings on Danny Bonaducci's back out of five. I don't know if I'm as cynical as my fellow panelist here. This movie was clearly terrible. Terrible CGI, terrible acting, terrible story, but I loved hating it and I think you might love hating it too. So I can't give it a high rating. I'm gonna still give it a one bronzed main character character statue out of five, but watch it anyway. That's what we thought about the movie. Let us know how you feel in the comments below. Like this video, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, and hit us up with a recommendation on Twitter at bloodbath underscore TV. Give us anything better than this.